up guys, it's Lord Savine, and welcome to the first episode of Skyrim Mod Spotlight. I wanted to kind of create a little series because one of the absolute best things about playing the Elder Scrolls games on PC is that you get to mod up the game as much as you want. And there is just a huge, like, enormous mod population for these games. Like, Morrowind is still being modded. It Like, if you mo mod Morrowind, it will look almost just like Oblivion and plays so well. So, and, and every game is like that. Like, Oblivion has a crap ton of mods that I think are absolutely essential, and now Skyrim is starting to get that as well, and it's really, really cool, and I wanted to show you guys some of the cool mods that are coming out of this co community, but I thought I would start first with this really cool utility that I found um, that they just... Oh, well, I don't think they just started. I think it's uh, just a little old now, uh, but about a couple of weeks. But they started creating a mod manager for Skyrim. And it's it's actually, well, it's for Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas, uh, uh, Fallout 3, Oblivion, and Morrowind, I believe. And each of those each of those games has their own community. Uh, it's called the Nexus community. It's part of this big sister group of, you know, awesome mod communities. And... You know, each game had it, its own like website that you download mods from. Well, typically when you download a mod, it can be kind of a confusing process. Like, it, it's like, okay, well, you, you have to go and you have to download and you have to unzip and you have to make sure you unzip to the right place. And sometimes you have to tweak this or that. And it was a nightmare. So what they've done is actually create a utility that does almost all of this for you. And it is awesome. And it's called the Nexus Mod Manager. Now it is in beta, and it, it there's some things that it, it it's not like a cure all. It's not going to do absolutely everything, but it does help with a lot of things. So in order to get this installed and ready to go, you're going to need to create an account with the Nexus sister group. So you can go to Skyrim Nexus, Oblivion Nexus, I mean whatever you want to do. Um, but you just go up there and you create an account. As you can see, I already have one, but it's just you know it's a typical account creation. You know just put in a used uh, username password email address all that really simple they don't spam you or anything like that and it's 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 just gonna help you out and keep you informed once you have that you're gonna come over here to this page I'm gonna have the link in the description below so make sure to check it out but it's www.skyrimnexus.com slash content slash mod manager and he'll come up to this page right here and um, it is if you just click right here click download now and then of course download and install it once you install it you're going to need to log in um, once you've logged in you will come up to this page right here and it pops up it's kind of nice I've already installed it obviously uh, but it's got a lot of tools to help make the whole modding process so much simpler so when you first get it it's going to be blank you know it's going to have th these are your uh, data files that when uh, Skyrim installs or Oblivion or whatever mod, uh, game you're modding, they will be there and you can click them to activate them. If you go over to mods, obviously this would also be blank because so you don't have anything yet. And that's kind of the cool thing is that you can download mods automatically and then they will pop up here and then you can install and uninstall. So let's say you've got this installed already. So I'm going to come over to one of these. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> So let's say I want to start. Uh, I want to download a mod. So I'm going to find a mod that I think is kind of nifty. Let's go to Hot Files, which is it, this this website is so cool because it's got a lot of things to organize it and whatnot. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Nightingale improved clothing. Ooh, cool. Glowing ore veins. Ooh, I kind of like this actually. I'm going to do that. Okay, so here is the mod, and you can kind of see some screenshots and stuff like that. That would make it a lot easier to see these things. Sometimes I, I walk right past them. It's awful. So you can read all about the mod. It has, you know, release information down here and, you know, install descriptions, mod descriptions, and all that. Okay, so let's say you want to use the mod manager. You would just download with the mod manager. And it's going to pop up a little thing, and of course you want to use this, the Nexus mod manager. And you can actually... Click that, and it will always do that from now on. Now it's going to download. So you come over to here, and it's downloading that, that file. You can see I recently downloaded another mod through uh, the mod manager as well. So it's going to download it. It may take a little bit, depending on um, how big it is. This one apparently is eh, a, little, a little big. It's going to go ahead and download to a location that you set. 
when you first install the uh, program, it'll ask you, you know, where's Skyrim? Where do you want your mods to be? That should be pretty straightforward. I figured you guys would know that, but, you know, hey, you, you might want to set that. Well, now you come over to mods and see it's right here. But there's no check mark next to it, so you've got to install it. Now, normally this would involve a bunch of crazy, you know, unzip all this you know, copy, paste, modify this file. No, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is click on this, click activate right here, and it's going to install the mod, confirm it with you, and then look at this. You even have the information on that page. So if you ever have an issue with this mod, like it's breaking something or something's going really horribly, horribly wrong, you can look here and see, you know, okay, well, did I miss something? Or can I contact the people and ask them a question? Um, it also has links to the actual uh, page to download uh, some of the some of the uh, redownload any updates and things like that. So that's installed. It's ready to go. You don't have to mess with it anymore. You can actually just play Skyrim at this point. You can also deactivate just as easily. So let's say I want to deactivate this mob now. So you just click the deactivate thing, and it's going to uninstall it completely. It's going to Skyrim is going to look just like it did before you installed that mod. So I of course want to reactivate that because I think this mod is going to be sweet. You can also add mods that you can't download directly from the Nexus site. For example, there are several mods like um, this, which is the Skyrim Script Extender mod, that you can just download normally like you would and then add it by clicking this button. Click Add Mod from File or Add Mod from URL. It Usually I just add from File just to make sure that I get it right, but you can just add it, point towards it, and it'll upload it right into here just like normal. And then you know, you can select all the ones that you want, and you can even launch Skyrim directly from the program after you're done messing around with your mods. So you can just go right here and launch away. So you don't have to launch directly from the mod manager. I want to make sure that I that I state that you can you can launch Skyrim just as normal. Once the mods are activated, you are good to go. You don't have to do anything else. And I think this is an excellent tool. Uh, big props to 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 the Nexus community for creating this uh, tool for us. I think it's going to help us out a lot in just kind of manipulating these, these mods, which could have been really hard to deal with otherwise. Well, anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoy the, the utility. I'm glad I found it. I hope you are able to take advantage of it. And if you like this episode, make sure to give it a thumb. Leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of mods you want to see in this kind of spotlight. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.